Hello? I don't know why it does that. You know, I need to check this thing. It should be working now. Let me just verify myself. Always a good lull. There we are. Okay, we're good now. All right. Well, I guess I better start that again. Uh, like I always say, my name is Major. My name's Lance. More importantly, my screen is Major Riot. That is my screen name on Twitch, YouTube, MTG, MJ, and Twitter. If you're watching this live on Twitch, please are following. If you're watching this on YouTube, please are subscribing. This video a thumbs up. And also follow me on Twitter too for that bluebird action. That's right. Follow Major Riot on Twitch and Twitter. Don't forget to subscribe to Major Riot on YouTube for the low, low cost of free. Don't delay. Do it now for a guaranteed outburst of rage, confusion, even sometimes joy. I always have the disclaimer, though. I am not responsible for some increase in top deck only lands, being wrecked by Ragman, or being unable to find your sideboard cards. That starts happening to you. has nothing to do with me. Um, but I always got to put that out there. As you can tell, I do enjoy playing Magic the Gathering. I play Magic the Gathering. Although, if you watch my videos, you wouldn't know I love Magic that much, but I actually really do. Um, and when I do play Magic, I do for playing Modern. And right now, I'm playing some Golgari midrange, some uh, red-green, or red-green, black-green classic here. And... Uh, so we do today. Uh, let's take a look at the weather. It's another beautiful day out there. Uh, weather for Ravenhill can just are sunny with a temperature of 80 degrees. The wind is blowing from the northwest to 5 miles per hour, and the current humidity is 40%. So there's the weather for you. Let's see here. We're still at 46 followers on Twitter. We did go up two followers on Twitch. We're now at 325. So thank you guys very much there, right? 325? Let me make sure of this. I'm, I... I I'm very confused. 326. Or actually at 326. I thought I had miscounted there. 326. And let's get a couple of these folks up here that uh, followed recently. Here we go. Thank you kindly, Pogo Tito, for the follow. I really appreciate that. If you ever watch me live, let me know where you're from, where your favorite deck is, or format, I guess. And uh, Detective Scott. Gunsy, thank you very much for the follow. I really appreciate that. And again, if you ever watch me live, let me know where you're from and what your favorite format is. I think it's easier for me to say format in this day and age than deck. Um, so yeah, and let's see here. We are now up to 535 subscribers on YouTube. So, of course, we gotta do my normal thing here. Shouts all 46 followers on Twitter. Shouts all 326 followers on Twitch. Shouts all 535 subscribers on YouTube. And of course, a massive shout out to all four of my Twitch subscribers. It's going to be a little bit of the hard earned money in these very trying and dangerous times. Spend that money anywhere else to make a lot more sense than here. You can get yourself a Snickers bar, some Reese's peanut butter cups, or maybe a box of runs. And uh, it'd be even uh, it'd be a lot more impactful to your life than paying to watch me rumble, bumble, and stumble, hopefully to win a game or two. Um, but I really appreciate anybody who watches this live or, or recorded on YouTube. But I've always got to have a particularly large, massive, robust shout out for those that are willing to contribute financially. I apologize that the beginning was a little bit muted. I don't know why Streamlabs does that. It just suddenly just turns off my mic. Like the mic is there. It just switches to like no mic. And so I got to turn the mic back on on Streamlabs. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, yesterday, guys, I plan on being here, but just like on Monday, work got in the way, so I couldn't stream. And tomorrow, I know some of you might be upset about this, I will not be here as well, but that is not for work. That is for my wife's birthday. Um, and uh, But I hope to be back on Monday next week, and it will be Rakdos Midrange next week in Pioneer. i got to make that clear. Um, the RCQ season is finally back upon me next week, and it looks like I will have double RCQ Saturday and Sunday. Got to travel a little bit for a couple of them, but... You know, AI Gage is here. He says, Ew, Pioneer. Hey, I haven't played Pioneer in a while. Okay? So, some of you actually really like the Pioneer action. Like, no joke. Um, and frankly, I looked over at Pioneer and, like, absolutely nothing's changed over there. It's, like, the same cards. Like, there, there's one deck that's kind of shown up. This Boros deck. Not the Convoke, but the one with the Sahili, I think. Um, and Rakdos Sacrifice has suddenly become the hot thing over there. I don't know why, because... I played against it many times. It doesn't seem like particularly great, but it's been running roughshod over there. I didn't see any new cards in it, so I don't know what's going on. Um, but we are going to play some Golgari mid-range here. Um, I did make some changes again. The only change I made, I took out the two power word kills for two murderous riders. These actually are pretty good. Last time I played this deck, about a year ago, um, I did forget that murderous rider can also destroy planeswalkers. Um, it's a little bit expensive, double black and a generic. And, but you do get extra value, which is good for this deck, because it does become a creature, a 2-3 lifelinker that goes back into the deck when it gets, uh, when it dies. So it's good value again. 
So uh, we're going to get in here and we're going to um, play some Golgari mid-range. And uh, hopefully it's been going good for you guys. Uh, it's Friday, uh, July, oh no, it's Thursday. Thursday, July 13th. And yeah, I'm a newer, but I can't miss the, uh, the wife's uh, birthday, obviously. Not like I'm going anywhere. I'm right here, even though I would stream. Um, but, you know, I, I just want to make sure that I spend the day with her and, you know, we, we got multiple days together. We got the whole weekend planned. Well, on Sunday, I got to do more housework. I got to repair more stuff in the house. That's one thing a lot of people don't understand when you, you can hear apartment dwellers. Nothing wrong with that. I lived in an apartment for seven years. You know, everyone's got to start somewhere. Um, or basement dwellers, you know, that, that's kind of a problem when you're 34 and you're living in your mom's basement. You know, I know a lot of guys like that. Um, but you, you know, they, they're always confused. What do you mean you got to work on your house? Like, dude, who else is going to do it? <laughs> you know, I mean, who else, who the hell else? I'm not going to pay people to come over when I can do the work myself for like literally almost free compared to what they charge me. But it is stressful trying to do it, done, get done yourself because if you do have someone else do it, you can just yell at them if it's fucked up. All right. Uh, so let's see here. I do have to reveal my beverage of the day and folks, it's a good one. It's perfect for this time of year. What am I talking about here? I'm talking about a 12 ounce can of Mountain Dew Summer Freeze. That's right, this shit is good. I highly recommend it. The can is bright and colorful and should fill you with joy. Look at the sun on that. That is a happy-go-lucky sun, unlike the sun from Super Mario Brothers 3. Remember how pissed off that sun is? That's mean old Mr. Sun. This is happy, jolly, young, hasn't had fought in a war yet sun. <laughs> so uh, anyways, we all know the official start of the video doesn't begin until I crack my beverage. is gonna happen right now. Here we go. Oh yeah. There we are. That's some good stuff. All right, of course I'm going to go first. Oh my god, no. Six lands. Uh, hefty mole. That looks better. Um, put the overgrown tomb on the bottom. Maybe with Seiju. This card is pretty bad. I kept yelling at this card last time, but it has its moments. That's why it's in here. Um... Yeah, I, I suppose. I'm gonna just gonna fetch for that anyways. See if Bob can do stuff. By the way, this is the real Bob. If you ever see someone playing the Skrillex Bob, uh, make sure to frown at him at least. Make sure to kind of like, uh, kind of grimace. Um, you know, there is the other Dark Confidant now. Um, the one from what was it, Double Masters or something. And then there is a really rare Bob. Uh, I think that was a store promo. But none of them are as good as this one. I mean, this is like literally classic art now. This belongs in, almost in museum. All right, what we got here? What the hell is happening now? What is going on? Hacked of the Titan? I mean, I've seen this card. I mean, I, I think we just take... I think I'm pretty happy with just taking... Uh, Amulet of Vigor, right? I think that's pretty wise. I mean, we'll see what sort of shenanigans I'm up against here. They top deck Urza Saga. Gotta love that shit. All right, it's Bob time. If they get, I, I, I hopefully can get a land so I can Maelstrom Pulse multiple amulets. So I think they're going to get an amulet with this and then copy making an amulet. Um, maybe they have an amulet here. But maybe they have a dismember for Bob. Bob never makes it. Oh, he made it. Draw card. Technically not a draw, okay. All right, nurturing peatland. Uh, yeah, just swing for two. 
I don't think I need to put out another confidant. Right, just leave up murderous fire in case something insane happens. Yeah, I think that's smart. Let's leave up murderous rider. I mean, I don't know what could go wrong here, but let's not let's just put all guards down. I think if I can get the mouse from pulse play off, they didn't even tap this for mana. They don't need to. I don't know. But if they if they go to copy the uh, amulet vigor, um, that's fine. And we are going to mouse from pulse two amulet of vigors. All right, Bob, what you got? Tarmogoyf. And another P. Look at this play. Boom! Mouse from pulse just killed a land. Judge, judge, that sucks ass for the opponent, but they deserve it. I don't care. Hot, well, it's a little warm today, but it's not that bad. Ogari Rock Farm. Do they have uh, the one mana green creature? What is that thing? Zero three? No. All right. That's not bad at all. Take a look at what's going on. Wish Claw Talisman and Pact of the Titan. A Boreal Grazer. Thank you, Manure. <laughs> it's amazing how I can't remember any card name. I go by the pictures. Uh, I'm going to take Wish Claw Talisman. I am going to aggressively swing for two. I am going to play Tarmogoyf. And then, uh, should I play another Confidant or should I play Witherbloom Command? Funny because the Wither Bloom command just does like absolutely nothing here except drain them. It's like a free. I think I will play Wither Bloom command. Because it, you know, I'll mill three and gain the two life back. So mill three, drain two. Oh, okay, I'll pick up a Vestage. You sure? And it made Goyf a 5-6, because an instant went in there. All right. So we got some sort of amulet titan. Um, obviously, Force of Vigor is very nice here. Uh, I don't mind bringing Necromancia. I mean, I, they got to have. They didn't play titan, but they got to have it, right? Um, what is bad here? Uh, Fatal Push is quite questionable, I think. I mean, it's okay. You know, maybe, maybe it's better than Endurance. Have a couple of those in, just in case. Um, Weather Bloom Command is pretty bad, but it's always kind of bad. I just don't think it's any worse than, or any better than, like, you don't want to bring in Turok. I don't think Endurance Explosive does anything. Spell Bomb shouldn't do anything. Uh, just submit. I'm going to say this is an Amulet Titan deck. I mean, even though I haven't seen the card and they've got some other shenanigans going on, um, I'm willing to run with it. Okay. Uh, this is definitely a keepable hand. Uh, probably just going to lean on, you know, obviously Inquisition first, then Goyf. That's still quite good. 
Okay, I do have a Seiju. Let's see what horrors await. Questing Beast? I mean, that could be good. Shock. What is going on here? This is not Amulet. This is some sort of insane hive mind deck. Um, what is Intervention Pack? I guess I'll take Intervention Pack. I guess, I mean, I've seen something like this before where they try to win through some bizarre way, but... Like, they try to win through Hive Mind. Wow, they didn't... I guess they can do it at instant speed. Um. Okay. Do I want to play Goyf here? I think I need to get a threat going. You know, I'm just, if I just sit here and keep passing, it doesn't make any sense. So I'm going to get Goyf out. Hopefully I don't die. You know, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. I plan on besieging an amulet. Because Hive Mind is pretty gross. So, so they're going to try and win through like Hive Mind. What the hell? What the fuck? Put Talaria West. So we know they have Hive Mind and Slaughter Pack. Okay. Got a fatal push. The grazer. Swing for three. And if they go to they may be looking for another land. I don't want to give them Urborg because they have Slaughter Pack. I mean, I want to make their have swamps, even though they basically, I mean, it doesn't really matter. They still got to pay, what is it, three? Yeah. So, I mean, they can easily pay because they have these Microsynth, right? Do zero. And then black. Hey, yeah, they could do it. I mean, they got enough mana here to do it, right? Okay, we're gonna fire off here. This might be wrong. Wow, they didn't they didn't they could have done Maybe this has helped them? I don't know. I mean I can play I can pay for slaughter pack, you know. So their plan is to play a card like Intervention Pack. I've seen this before. This used to be a weird alternate win condition for Amulet Titan. And what they do, return force, what they do is they uh, play a card that they know that, and then they, copy, they play Hive Mind, and then you can't pay the cost of, say, Intervention Pack. But I can play, I can pay for sla Slaughter Pack. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Um, I... I guess play Liliana first.
I guess ditch tireless. Get rid of basic forest. Now, if I give him this herbor, what's the worst that can happen? I think I need to do it so I can play Questing Beast. Amazingly, Questing Beast will get through that. This is insane. Questing Beast makes it so combat damage will be dealt by creature you control cannot be prevented so questing beast is going to let goif and uh itself just dig in here uh that's that's insane um i, I as far as i can understand that's what's going to happen here so and we're going to lily discard lily They can't slaughter pack the questing beast. Get rid of Lotus Field, okay. I'm gonna save some life here by oops, what am I doing? I can't do that. Uh save some life here by tapping for the swamp off of Urbor. You always make sure to do that. And, and if you do that in paper, make sure you let your opponent know. What is happening here? Why can't I get double green? Why am I struggling here to get double green? I'm so excited for this free, un, you know, no pain off that nurturing peatland. And uh, swing for 11, and they'll die to the one ring. Oh, man. No, they, no. They, they, I thought I had enough. No, it's only 10, not 11. I looked at the toughness. All right, they're at one. Questing Beast putting in serious work. Getting through the one ring. That's insane. That's awesome. So they win here if they if they if they win here if they find um anything I can't pay for, right? Anything. So they must have found it. They must have found Heroic Intervention or the red one or the blue one. I mean, that's much what's been going on here. So they have Slaughter Pack. Pack Negation. Oh, they're going to kill me with Pack Negation. Okay. Right, there's just nothing I can do to stop this. Now I lose. So I gotta, I gotta pay that. So that this is their whole gimmick. Um, so now I need collector brutality. Fuck, man. So obnoxious. Uh, Veil of Summer doesn't do anything. Uh, yeah, I just gotta bring in Collective Brutality. Um, take out these Fatal Pushes. They're horrible. So Necromencia now will name um, Hive Mind, I guess. Well, at least Questing Beast showed how it can be good. Uh, yeah, sure. Really need thought seize last game. Yeah, it's not everyone. It's just people are using it to find bizarre ways to win, like here, you know, um, I'll take the Royal Grazer. Um, well, 
What the fuck? They top deck Amulet of Vigor? Are you kidding me? That's horrible. I'm just going to flash in uh, Orcus Bowmasters. Unless I need to use Assassin's Trophy. Opponent has stopped. There they go. Not a fan of the basic forest. Jesus. I guess just take hive mind, even though I'm not really sure how good that is. Maybe I need to take a uh, wish claw talisman. Yeah, I'll take hive mine. Do they target this? They're thinking about it. I'm ready. I mean, they can play Wish Claw Talisman. I don't know what they can do with it. I mean, they give it to me. What can I find with it? That would be impactful. I guess, um... Like, uh, maybe... Maybe a Necromentia. The One Ring is back up to 112 ticks. Well, you know, it went down. That means more people are going to buy it. And that means it's going back up. Wow. That sucks.
53 bucks yeah it's going up a little bit more i know i was 53 in paper it was like 50 the other day wow that really sucks what the hell oh well, it looks like we're uh, making a two-two here and uh, i have all four of my basics on turn four The game should be over. Ah, I can't I'm going to lose like this. Just dying to... I haven't drawn a non-land yet, right? I don't think so. Any of all... All three draws have been lands. And they've been basics. So they don't have enough to do hide mine here. Hide mine six. Otherwise, they'd be able to win the game now. Um, but pack negation in their hand means that now um, I can't necromancia. Because they have pack negation. They can pay for pack negation because they have Lotus Field. So this game's over. Like I can't I can't possibly win here. And I top deck Necromancia. Well, what the fuck? I, I don't have enough mana to do two Necromancias. That'd be insane. <sighs> They just play pack negation. They can pay for the pack. That's all there is to it. I mean, I guess we go for it, though. I have mine. Wow. Oh, they just immediately quit. Oh my God, yes. All right. Wow. Necromancia. Instant game winner. That's insane. They did have one in hand. That's crazy. Did they not have negate? Oh no, they did. It's still in their hand. Wow. Wow. All right. Well, that was insane. That was actually insane. They, that's why you should never have six. You have any card that's instant speed or something you maybe wanted to do, don't skip through your turn. Or whatever. Don't skip through all the phases. Just say, I'm ready in case something bizarre happens. I'm, 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 I'm good to go. All right, yeah, I'm gonna go first. Uh, I don't know if I should keep this. Uh, I'm gonna keep this because I can play almost every card except Liliana. It look like we're mono green. To play a zero one goy potentially. Basic forest. I haven't gotten my basics a lot today. All right. Overgrown tomb. I know, but one, two, go. I said it was zero, one. Things are looking up.
One of them is that mono black coffers with the one ring in it. I don't know. Swing for one. There we go. Now I'm going to try and flash an endurance. Or use beside you for something. Hmm. Maybe sap something more sinister here. Yep. Malakar Rebirth? Some sort of Ephemerate deck, maybe? Um, do I want to block this or this? Because if they go to Ephemerate or... Because if they go to Ephemerate, this comes back. The Undying Malice is bad. I don't plan on drawing extra cards, so I think I can block that. Okay. Um, I guess just lay beside you. I should have played Tireless Tracker first. Well, no, that wouldn't have made sense. I want to hold up Fatal Push, so I actually played it right there. Not a second copy of Workers Bowmasters. All right, well. They have protection from everything, right? Yeah, so I can't even... I'm not even going to swing. Go play another Goyf and hopefully I don't have Damnation. No point in even swinging. Just leave them all up. What the hell, dude? Another different one ring? Dude, this is fucking brutal. Liliana would still work. It isn't target to plus. Another different goif. Right, again, not doing anything, just...
So now it's ephemerate. Yeah, and it's gonna waste my entire my entire field. Yeah, I think the one ring is a serious problem to like the health of the game when you just have like the how many cards are you drawn off this? Just off two copies. Four cards. Um You know, we got a serious problem here, it looks like. Yeah, I mean, I don't even know what to even say. You know, we, we got a serious problem here, and uh, Wizards of the Coast is fucked up again. I mean, that's what we need to look at here. Say that Wizards of the Coast has once again betrayed the player base. Um, wow, I actually got a murderous writer. Ah, but I can't fucking use it because it requires double black and I can't seem to find a black card. It's fucking terrible. I just have to concede, I think. Yeah, I'm just gonna concede. I can't I can't beat this deck, I don't think. Um, it's just impossible. Um Again, Wizard of the Coast has destroyed destroyed uh destroyed the game almost. You know? Um and they're not never going to admit it. They're not going to ban it for at least six months, um, if ever. Um, it's just not going to happen. Uh, I guess Turok's probably okay here. I guess just have Necromencia for every, just always constantly name the one ring, which is terrible because the, the cards they already are running are, I mean, I don't even know if that's even smart because it's like, it, it's like, I can't even deal with Solitude Ephemerate to begin with. And then it's like, oh, we have the one ring on top of that fucking shit. You know, it's just... It's just... It's, it feels so hopeless. It feels so like you need to call a hotline and tell them that you, you're not feeling good. Feel, tell them that you're feeling really depressed. Uh, Probably Endurance can leave. Uh, yeah. Just, I, I I don't know. I I, I just I, I mean maybe maybe it's just uh maybe it's just time to end modern, you know? I mean maybe it's a good thing that next week I'm going to Rakdos and Pioneer, you know, to get away from this. You know, it, it's sad because if you don't run into it, like the game's still fun, but if you run into it, it's just like wow, this is like miserable. You know, Wizards of the Coast has destroyed the game again, probably. I'm so tired of them doing that, you know? These they don't care about us, the players. There it is. There it is. I mean, they really don't. You know, I always thought about how Wizards of the Coast is probably one of the worst, um, you know, game design companies in the world. Uh, because everything they make is either, it's about as bad as it gets. I'm just going to shock here. And they really don't care about their uh, their customers. You know, they just, they just don't. And the problem is that people continue to buy their product. You know, I, I bought boxes of this set um i don't think they will i don't think they'll ban it at all it's just it's too important for them right now um i i don't think they want to do that like at all I just get rid of 
It'll push. They do not flash in Orcus Bowmasters to block, huh? Her Rumleys will be banned in August. I don't think so. I think it's going to be here for a long time. Like, they just don't ban stuff like that anymore. They just don't. So, why would they? Doesn't make any sense. It's going to be here for at least several months. And if you complain about it, they're just going to call you racist. That's what they do. Wow. Wow. Well. <coughs> for six. Murderous Rider. Uh, swing for 12. Now they ring and the game ends? I mean, I don't know about that. I mean, how would the game end? They, they just get protection. I can't even deal damage to them. Well, I mean, I guess that worked. <laughs> um, I guess you just need to have uh, Terra Sunder, right? Or... Um, some return the Aether, or some the one from uh, Born of the Gods that shuffles artifacts back into the deck. Um, yeah, I don't really like bringing Necromencia because like it's just the only time I like Necromencia is when the whole game, their whole plan resolves around one card, like um, Primeval Titan, Hive Mind, you know, something like that. You know, this deck is very good just without the One Ring. So, let's keep it going. I don't know what you call this. Uh, Orzov. Well, this is pretty good. Orcish Bowmasters is like the anti... Um, the anti... Uh, one ring card. Probably shouldn't have played that one first. What? Uh, what? Dude, I, I don't really have an answer for any of this. God. I guess Stoneforge. So they don't play smallpox. Three different solitudes. All right, I guess I'll take a fem right now.
Uh, I'm willing to try Liliana here. All right, guys, give me a second. I go here. I gotta go check on my dog. I'm back. It's funny how you let your dogs out to go potty, and like an hour later, they're like, woof, woof, woof. Hear them making noise, like, oh god. So they have salty, salty smallpox unknown. Um, Plus again. Oh man. Probably it's Maelstrom Pulse, right? Get rid of smallpox, which now that gives me the ability to fire off this Turok. They top deck small fox anyways. So they discard solitude. Uh I'll sacrifice Seiju. 
and um, Wither Bloom Command. All right, I mean, we both discard and get rid of Wither Bloom Command. I got my orc. My orcs are empty handed. So Liliana has done its job. Now it's orc time. Um, I'm swinging for two. I don't think I need to ultimate Lily yet. Plus again. Orcish Bowmasters are $36, yeah. Yeah, they're pretty pricey. All right, they're keeping a card in hand. What does that mean? An ephemerate. All right, swing for two. Okay. How do we want to deal with that? Do we want to uh, minus Lily against that? Minus Lily. I guess. Oh, wait, I can't. <laughs> Never mind. So I guess we just leave Lily and we do nothing. But I can start drawing cards off uh, Bowman. I mean, off Locked Wayne. So. So here they can actually do this one for free, right? They can they can draw a card off it and uh, no damage will be done. Uh, I guess target myself. I have to target something. Take two. They're out of three solitudes. Okay, I, I can deal with that. Hopefully no ephemerate here. Uh, draw a card. I should have done this in response. Yeah, this was stupid of me. Um, okay. It's just best to do this. Uh, one ring. 
versus like that. I think that's probably about right. Two fetid heats in one pile. So give them, I guess, yeah, we could do something like that. Let's just, I, I think I like this. I, I think I like doing this. Two ring and two heats. Oh, I have no idea. Swing for five. You would on ring and two heats together. Yeah. All right, they're at six. I have my murderous rider ready. All right, that's two ring decks down. Orzov ring. I'm just going to call it that. Good lord. All right, well, I, I'm not really sure what they're, I guess they were just going for like raw card advantage there with the smallpox. Well, yeah, I mean, if they had Lingering Souls, they'd be in a lot of trouble. Imagine if instead of Solitudes, those were Lingering Souls. You know what I mean? I, th that would have been a total of 12 one ones flying at me. I, mean, I would have lost. The easily, I would have lost. Like, it just would have been over. Like, just done. <laughs> you know, but instead they had Solitudes, and normally that's good, but it wasn't good there. Uh, I think I can mole that. That is not an impressive hand. I don't like five lands. Molaruski. That's a little bit better. Uh, put Murderous Rider on bottom. Fox of the Flame. Firefox. E. Uh, first right around bottom. More one rings. Taking four damage this turn. Oh. Well, luckily I don't have any search cards right now. I will take... Why didn't they play the Rune Crab? I don't know. Well, just got to make sure I don't search here. Maybe that was wrong. Maybe I should have took an Archive Trap instead of Rune Crab. I'm just thinking, like, they play Rune Crab. I, I don't know. They should have played Rune Crab, I think. So I can deal with the Rune Crab. I got two fiddle pushes. Uh, we'll see if Bob's any good <laughs> in this matchup. I mean, just as soon as they... I probably should have took the Archive Trap, right? Because as soon as they get a Field of Ruin, I'm hurt. All right, Bob. It's not set up archive trap. You're not searching. You're just taking the top card. It's endurance, which is hella good. Hell yeah. Uh, swing for two. Go, Bob. Go. I really need to make sure I gain some life, though, or something.
Bob down. Bob is down. All right. Play endurance. They can't drown the lock this. They don't have counter spell. I'm sure there's something they can do. I don't know. Maybe not. Shuffle those back in. Two cards went back in. Oop, can't play that. Do not play the Burden Catacomb. Uh, swing for three. Um, is it safe to play Urborg? Do they have double black card? Well, it doesn't matter. They, they already have double black. Play Urborg. There we go. Two Inquisition of Kozilek. I could have used those. Not really. I guess they have two Archive Traps, so. Okay. I lost. Lair of the Hydra requesting Beast and Swamp. Um, Liliana would be really good here. More Fatal Pushes. Well, I guess they're just not going to have Crabs. <laughs> they're just... Like... Good luck, pal. The best part about that Inquisition of Kozlik, or Thoughtseize, actually, was it let me know about these archive traps. So I just, I'm not going to play Verdant Catacombs. Like, I'm going to sit there. Oh, God. Yeah. Okay, I got to find creatures. I mean, eventually they're going to be able to start playing Archive Trap, you know? Uh, I guess I'll draw a card. Oh my god. Oh my god! Yeah, we're just probably dead to these archive traps. You know, sucks. Oh my god! No. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Amazing. And I even, they've only milled one creature out. Well, there he goes, 13. Here comes another 13 gone. They still didn't hit many creatures there. Okay. I'm going to put Endurance on top. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that trick. Yeah, that, that was stupid of me. I forgot. I have 14 cards left. Is it possible for me to find... Some sort of threat that isn't Dark Confidant. Not really. Uh, 
I guess now it's okay to fetch. Do I have anything? I, I would assume I've got something. You know, we'll do it in their upkeep. You know, I guess I never needed to worry about that because I do have herb orgs. And I guess it does. Archive trap says just if they did it this turn, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, that's dumb. I shouldn't have done that. But you know, see if I lose here. Amazingly, I had a shit ton of lands still left. I still had four fetchable lands after two archive trap. How many goists are left? Two goists are still left out of 12? Where the hell are they? I would like to play goists. Oh. Okay, well, I lost that game because of no creatures found. Isn't that exciting? Isn't that wonderful? Uh, Veil of Summer, Night Hill Spellbomb come in. Um, Collective Brutality enough to come in. I'm not signing anything out. Dark Con is the only card where it's kind of like, maybe you should sign it out, but I don't think so. Um, You guys should have brought in some Turoks. There. All right, let's see how bad this uh, this uh, archive trap messes me up. Might have a ley line of sanctity too. I don't know. Oh, there goes some cards. Why didn't they do Archive Trap? What happened? What happened? Why would you not Archive Trap me? I don't know. If play the crab, I'm just going to kill the crab. I'm going to abrupt decay it. I did not play the crab. Okay. Then I guess I'm going to take the crab. Uh... Tasha's hideous laughter or crab? Crab. Lily. I guess a rough decay. I don't know. The idea with Wither Bloom Command is all is all uh 
make them mill and I'll get a land and be able to play Shialdred. I don't know how sound that plan is. But here comes Atasha's Hideous Laughter. 16 cards lost. Wow, that's a lot for this deck. Mostly hit lands. Okay. Orcish Bowmasters. I, I need to plus Lily. I could Wither Bloom Command, pick up Verdant Catacombs, and play Orcus Bowmasters. But if they play a Crab, I just can't even get through, even though I could minus the Lily. I mean, I don't know. Uh, okay, you're going to mill three and drain for two. I'm pick up Verdant Catacombs. Oh, what the fuck? All right, well, shit. Nothing ever really goes right for me. You know, everything's got to be like the most. There was nothing I could have done differently there. I mean, I could have plus Lily first, but I just don't expect this. And would they have targeted the Verdant Catacombs? Maybe still. I don't know. Um, I just don't know. I just don't know. Fuck! Now it's like I don't even want to plus Lily, because both these cards are good. I'm not even going to plus Lily. Like, I, I just, I, I can't run the risk. If I, it, no matter what I do, it's wrong. If I discard Bowmasters, I won't draw a land. I'll have, like, just, like, nothing to do. If, if I do discard Sheltered, I'll top deck a land. Right? Well, there's Dark Confidant. I think I can get rid of Dark Confidant. Surprise they do that. Probably wait for a crab. Wow, all right. She alter it, baby. Swing for two. Try to get this game over. Plus Lily. Do 
We use Murder Shrider, Tarmogoyf, Witherbloom, Tarmogoyf. Okay. Okay. Um. I'm going to plus with this still on the stack. Oh, I guess I can't. I thought I could on the stack with that on the stack play endurance. What? Weird. I guess I was wrong. Uh, attack, attack, attack. Well, what am I at? 26? No. Attack player. I'm at three. They go to one. All right. So I probably should bring in Collector Brutality and take out Dark Confidant, a couple Dark Confidants. Um, I don't think it's good to extra. I'll bring in the Turox, though. There we go, 66 cards now. All right. Nope. Mole. Uh, I can keep. I mean, it sucks with the castle locked lane. Put Assassin's Trophy on bottom. Yep. Grab. You want to get cute and be like, "Oh, I'm going, I'm going to mouse from Pulse crabs." Like, let's not get cute here. So if this I think I think I can uh, stop him from milling me here. I don't know. I don't know. I do have an answer to... Um,
to them trying to drown the lock because I have Nihil's Spell Bomb out. All right, we're just going to thought seize, see what's happening over there. Up, Zeke Nair. How you doing, man? Playing against one ring decks. Managed to beat both of them, but now I'm against this. Demer Mill. Uh, I guess it's just Tasha's hideous laughter. I mean, I reckon... Cause this doesn't even target. This actually gets around Veil of Summer. No. All right, we're going to try Orcish Bowmasters if they go for the um, Visions of Beyond here. They do. Right on. Oh, wait, I should have killed the crab. Oh, well. I can kill the crab with the uh, Maelstrom Poles. But that could have been a mistake. I can still stop Drown the Lock with Nihil Spellbomb. It still works. It still works, damn it. Um, and I think I will try to. Swing for three. Yeah, ten. Gage says, hmm, pondering. A lot of pondering sometimes. Mighty 3-3. Three, three. There's a lot of orcs being formed. I have the other orc to token. I kept the one with the little orcs in it. A hedron crab. That's annoying. Got to find Fatal Push. That's all. Okay, that sucks. All right, just play Tireless Tracker.
All right. Just sit back. Yeah. 13. Draw a card. Your time to shine, Tireless Tracker. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it again. Fatal push. Draw a card. Another different Tyler's tracker. I don't want to cast that one. Swing for six. Tyler's tracker looking good here. Man. Putting some serious work. Okay. So they have two cards in hand. I still have a corrupt decay, maybe? Still have a rough decay. Um, there are some interesting tricks you can maybe do here. Um, the I can fire up. I can fire up the lair, make it become a two-two, right? So when you go blah blah. Blah, X is two. Swing. I'm at one, and now they have to become empty handed, which I don't know if they can do. Uh, maybe they can. I mean, they could play a lamp, put out a blocker. Uh, I'm just going to make this thing a two again. Two fatal pushes. Zero fatal pushes. All right. Right on. 3 0. Let's go, Golgari. Right on. Lair of the Hydra coming in big right there because that was uh, Treetop Village. I wouldn't be able to swing. Well, I guess that last turn I've been able to. What could have been in their hand? Like three archive traps? I don't know. Luckily, this is uh, not Jund because I need to fetch a lot more in Jund. It's three colors. This one's pretty much, I don't really need to fetch usually. Um, they did mess up. I don't know what game that was where they did not cast archive trap for free. Like, I don't even know what happened there, but. Um, Regardless, they got me the old trick, the good old trick of, like, you putting a card on top of your deck that you want, and they make you immediately put it in your graveyard. I hadn't seen somebody do that in, like, literally, like, five years. Um, so that was pretty crafty of them. Uh, Tireless Tracker was really, really good there. Uh, she Aldred put in work, too. Um, Bowmasters was good. I mean, that was just 
really solid play there from the deck, considering what was happening. All right, yeah, I'm going to go first. Ain't nothing wrong there, I'll tell you that right now. We got Gigantha, so this is probably Tron or something. <laughs> Basic Swamp. Oh, buddy, you know it's you know it's Tron with the one ring. Okay, so we need to get race in here. Doesn't even matter. star all right we need to get moving fully foiled out fuck I have necromancy I can name Urza's tower after the sideboard Probably should have confidant. Got to draw more cards. <sighs> Fucking scrying. They actually found Sylvan fucking scrying off that. Oh my god! All right. Um. Swing for two. Play Confidant. Oh my god, and all is dust. What the hell? Well, you know, I mean, that's not a bad, that's not a bad find there. Oh my God, dude. This is an immense Tron player to play against. They have every single every single out every time like it's disturbing man that's insane they they found the someone scrying off the chromatic sphere and then they had found an all is dust and then they topped at karn liberated you can't beat tron players when they play like this you just can't like it's literally actually impossible um, I'm just gonna play both my creatures and uh, prepare to die. You know, I I need to play tireless tracker first. I keep messing that up. Um, and they have another Urza's mine in hand. That's 11 mana, 4, 8, plus another 3. Yeah. So got 7. Of course, my 3-0 run, I have to run into uh, Tron, which I doubt I can beat. Ensnaring Bridge, wow. Okay, all right. 
One Ring and Ensnaring Bridge. Oh, man. It's so much fucking fun. Oh, I can't even use them because of Karn the Great Creator. Yeah, that's right. Fuck. Horrible. Yeah, th I've seen where they don't even activate this, where they just they just use it. All right, and then they're just gonna get Ugin. All right, that's enough. Had enough. You're not going to beat Tron players where they're top decking as good as any, like, Murktide deck is, you know, like as if they're filtering their lands and stuff. All right, so I need these. Um, Endurance is, like, horrible. Uh, Fatal Pushes are actually even worse. Just get those out and bring those Endurances back in. Um, not opposed to... Uh, Bring in Turok. I think I'm good here. But there was a real shot there with Shialdred. Um, if they didn't top that car and liberated. Like they could have found just about anything else. And they, you know, because they just played their all as dust, right? So it's like, okay, this is a, this is pretty good here. We'll keep Lair of the Hydra is a threat. They just got it, and two Karn the Great Creators. Holy shit! This guy might be cheating some. I'm just joking, of course, but it's just like, what the fuck? Not looking good. I mean, I guess we fire it off just to see maybe they, yeah, they got they got a worm coil engine. So we're done here. We're done. I don't have blood moon or anything like that, so we're we're done. We're done here, guys. Drawing a top deck Necromentia, that is not going to work. Game over. They're both horrible. They're both horrible. Well, it's not just even worse nightmare. It's just wow, it actually had an ancient stirrings. Um, it, it's just uh, you know, I mean, what can you possibly do? You know, I mean, you're just so screwed. As soon as you look, I mean, again, this is this is the same guy who last game just completely top decked insanely. Like, I mean, it was like all his dust. I mean, I was looking at his hand. He didn't have all his dust. And he all his dust. Me. You know, I mean, it's just, holy shit, dude. Calm the fuck down. I need to uh, abrupt decay the death touch one. Look how much mana this is. So horrible. Like, just unbelievable when you look at it. You're just like, what the hell? Like, he's still got six mana left to play. It's probably just another different worm coil, right? Uh, 
And he's got another car in the Great Creator in hand. I mean, it could just be a uh, um, a one ring, you know. I mean, I don't know. It's just, it's just, you know, this guy had every card you could ever ask for. Walking ballista, sure. Sends them both at Lily. If I block here, it's a 3-3, three, three, so Goyf will just die. Um, right? Goyf will just die. Because if I abrupt decay, that makes Goyf a 4-5. And that just comes in and just shoots it twice. Dies. Fuck. Yeah, I'm just completely defeated. If I let it die. Four, five, and then I can. I don't even know. Because it doesn't even matter. He's got another one in hand. Another car in the Great Creator, so that won't even work. Um. I, I think just by doing nothing, I'm never going to win. Sure. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess we just got to turn this into a creature. Karn player. Wow. I mean, they can get anything they want. It's just over. They have nine mana out of the one ring. I mean, sure. Why not? Absolutely. They still have five mana. Five. Now I get Necromancia. So what the hell do you even name? I guess like Karn Liberated? I have no idea. I don't have a clue. Um, I can still take that out. Oh my god. I mean, what the hell, dude? Man, um, oh, I can't even use ne Necromation, never mind. I, I can't even use it because it does target the opponent.
Don't mind the pony. They only got 11, 11 mana. Yeah, and all is dust. I think that's going to be just fine. So three of four opponents have had one ring. Oh, a Cityscape Leveler. Absolutely. <clears throat> no, there's nothing I can do. Um, I might as well draw a card. I just get another nurturing beat lane. All right. Uh, that's not going to do anything. Okay. This sucks. This is fucking awful. This card's really bad. I mean, I guess might as well just keep fighting. And it doesn't even matter anymore, but and they still they had a worm coil in hand. It's only from All right, well, you know, I mean, I think I could have beaten them if they didn't, you know, have, like, excellent, not only hand in in game two, um, but an incredible run of top decks in game one. I mean, they just, I look at their hand, the, I'm relatively okay, I can race maybe against the one ring, you know, I can get some damage in and put a little bit of pressure on them, but they top deck all this dust. Next turn. I managed to top deck Shaldred, which is excellent against one ring, obviously. Opponent top decks Karn liberated. Without even using the one ring, you know what I'm saying? Like, they didn't even activate the one ring to draw any cards. They didn't even cast it. They just were top decking these cards naturally. And they always had natural Tron. I mean, well, also, but not in game one. Game one, they had two Tron lands. And then they managed to... With I took away a chromatic star, left them a chromatic sphere. The sphere made green mana off that gr the draw off the sphere. They found ancient stirring, not ancient stirrings, uh, Sylvan scrying to get the third Tron land they didn't have. I mean, that guy, you know, you're not gonna, no one could beat that deck. Like, no deck in the game could have stopped that guy. And that's always a problem with Tron decks is if they have like, if they have the Tron lands on turn three and you don't have Blood Moon or anything, they've won. I mean, you're not going to beat them. Like, period. Like, you're just not going to. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll keep. I mean, why not? So, we're going for a 4 1 here. The dreams of a 3 uh, the 5 0 were crushed. I've gotten this deck a 3 0 multiple times, but usually when I do, it's a 3 2. I went 3 2 last league. Going to see if I can't do any better this league. Maybe get a 4-1. I think this deck is really consistent and strong. It's just sometimes you just run into just fucking buzz saws, man. Just your face just drives right into it. You're just like, holy fuck. God damn. My sack. What is that about? Are they shocking steam vents? Original steam vents? OG steam vents? All right, probably Murktai. Going to play Consider here. Uh, we'll try to Endurance them at some point, hopefully. Oh. Oh no, it's Living End. All right. Well, again, Endurance is big. So 
So they get a stomping ground. We know subtlety in hand. Yes. Okay. All right. <clears throat> what do you got? I guess I'll take Violent Outburst. All right, we know the three cards in hand. They cannot and will not be able to stop this evoked endurance. That shit out of here. You get nothing. What happened? Did I click on the wrong one? Why did it happen twice? What? Why is this on the field? What happened? What's going on? Why is this sitting on the field? I, I evoked it. Am I missing something? What happened? Oh, the living end happened. I always forget about that. I always forget that living end will trigger and then still bring my endurance back. Man, I have done that to myself so many times, like wondering what the hell's going on. But all right, swing for three. Nice. Friendly 2-3 Goyf. I'm going to try and revolt push the Shardless Agent. Not half bad. Swing for eight.
Me sigo. Did they get there? No, they didn't because because uh, we know they have a basic forest in hand. All right. Okay. Um, Nihil spell bomb, obviously in. Um, Um, man. I think Abrupt Decay is bad. Wither Bloom Command is always questionable. Yeah, I'll take that out. Now, I don't want to bring a Necromancia to try and name Living End. I could try. Liliana is pretty rough. I think I can bring a necro Necromancia. Veil um, of Summer. Is that any good? From blue and from black. I'll try Veil of Summer. Boy. Uh, this is really rough. I mean, you got the sideboard card, but I'm going to wait quite a while to really play anything. I think you keep it. I mean, it, it, there's a chance it can work. Play Lair of the Hydra. Play Nihil Spellbomb. Hope to draw a Swamp or something. You know, if, if, if worst case scenario, you play the Locked Wing on turn two. Waiting for the Grief. Didn't happen. Remember, you don't need to pay the black. You can just tap it. Next, I'll target opponent's graveyard. Target player's graveyard. Okay. Let's play this fine locked Wayne. Again, there's our friend Castle Lockwing. It's a good card, but man, it sucks sometimes. It's like for real. Like it's a beast in um in Pioneer, usually. But in modern, it's somewhat questionable. I mean, we just going to sit here. He's probably going to try and do it during my turn, like a Violent Outburst or something. He may just go for it now. I mean, yeah, Violent Outburst. You know, it'll Cascade, Living End, Nihil Spellbomb, Exile, the Oliphant, and Creator of Mysteries. Curator, not Creator. Curator of Mysteries. Um, which is, I, I will gleefully do. That's a 6-4 and a 4-4 a four, four flying, and this gives an extra plus 2, plus 0 to attacking creature and trample. This card's insane for living in. Like, they finally got their trampler, right? They decide not to cast it. W 
Why? Why would you not cast? What the hell? You make me get rid of this Nihil Spellbomb and try to rebuild. You don't know what I can if I can possibly do it a second time. What? What? <laughs> huh? Okay, um. Do I want to Inquisition here? Do I want to leave up Orcish Bowmasters? Do I want to play Dark Confidant? I think I'm gonna play Orcish Bowmasters. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna. Uh, I, I think that's good, right? Because whenever they draw a card, they take a damage, right, off the cycling. So I think it's Bowmasters. You know. I think so. They should have cycled more in response. They have more cycling here. The dung goof. The dung goof. Okay, well that doesn't cycle. That's good for them. I cannot play the Shaldred. I cannot be tapped out here. Uh, they have to return the spell bomb some way, somehow. Um, if I can draw another black source, I will play Confidant. And there it is. Okay. So we're going to Inquisition first. See if I can't get any uh, Cascaders out. Again, I don't... Again, I don't even care about the drawing the card off the spell bomb. Are they getting close to casting that? They are. Uh, that's the only card I can take, so I'll take it. Uh, swing for three. I will play Dark Confidant. And hopefully find more outs. So they really can't cycle anymore. I mean, they can't even return this. They need like Brazen Borrower. Uh, they're kind of stuck. It's not over, but I'm not going to like just tap out like a, a dumbass. <laughs> you know, like. You know, now they're kind of, you know, really necromancia. This is only for creatures. They lost their force negation. Uh, I'm just going to name Living End. Right. Living end. Exile, exile. Exile. I kept three. What else do they got here? Anything else you need to be worried about? I mean, just as, I don't know. The, the, the smallest creature they can cast is Charlotte's Agent, who can't even cascade anything anymore. The Greaves cannot be cast, it looks like, at all. So I think that's okay. One, two, three, four, five. They have two subtleties? What? One, two, three, four, five. I guess they have two subtleties now. Um... Yeah, swing for five. I wonder if I should take the uh, one subtlety here. I, I, 
if they get another land, we might be in trouble. Right? Because then they can start casting these curators and stuff. So I probably should have um, took in one. But maybe that's wrong too, because those are big. Those are 4-4 four, four flyers. And I do have Dark Confidant, which is bad if those start getting cast. But luckily, it looks like they're not being cast. They do have Subtlety in hand, which... Uh, Makes things a little bit difficult with this Shialdred. Don't hurt me too bad, Confidant. Don't reveal Questing Beast. Overgrown Tomb. Very good, Confidant. Very good. Doing your job. Sometimes the on MTGO it reveals it backwards. Like, you'll draw your card, and then they'll reveal. So I can't even cast this. Um, I guess just again, swing for five. I don't really. Oh. No. Swing for three. Um, okay. Um I, I don't think she altered I don't think she altered is um uh... If I play Overgrown Tomb, I don't really want to. If I play Besaju, you, you know, I'm an idiot. I could have fired this up. I'm dumb. Yeah, I'm dumb. I, I completely forgot about Lair of the Hydra. I'm just thinking so much about, you know, what could possibly go wrong here. If they find another land, I could be in trouble. I mean, it would have to be, like, a, a basic. Yes! All right, a 4-1 there. Woo! All right. Very good. Orphish Bowmaster was the hero of that. Because they couldn't cycle anymore. There was no more cycling allowed. Um... You know, so that was great. So a nice quality victory there over Living End. Um, let's take a, take a look at those treasure chests. And uh, we'll talk a little bit about how the deck did. So let's see here. We got Angel of Salvation Haunted Plate Mail. What? What? Haunted Plate Mail. All right, Angel Salvation from Future Sight. Um, six and two white for a 5-5 five, five flyer with Flash and Convoke. When Angel Salvation enters the battlefield run, the next five damage will be dealt to this turn by any number to any number of targets divided as you choose. Uh, I don't like it. Whoa. Uh, Haunted Plate Mail from M14. Four mana artifact equipment. Equipped creature gets plus four, plus four, zero mana until end of turn Haunted... A haunted plate mail becomes a 4-4 spirit artifact creature that's no longer equipment. Activate only to control no creatures. Equip four. So you can't equip itself to itself. Um, it doesn't have flying as a spirit. That's actually not too bad of a card. I mean, that's pretty interesting, really, honestly. All right, next one. Look at this. We got... Invasion of New Phyrexia and a Yorion banned. Banned. All right. Invasion of New Phyrexia, which is a mythic rare from March of the Machine. X and two blue, or a blue and a white. When Invasion of New Phyrexia enters the battlefield, create X22 white and blue knight creature tokens with vigilance. Okay, that's not horrible. Six. Six. Uh, what do they call it? Loyalty counters? I don't know. And then on the back side, it's Teferi Akosha of Zolfar. Plus one, draw two cards and discard two cards unless you discard a creature card. Minus two, you get an emblem with knights you control. Get plus one, plus zero, and have ward one. 
Minus three tap X untapped creatures you control. When you do shuffle target non-land permanent opponent controls with mana value X or less into its owner's library. I think it's okay. Like, I don't think that's a bad card. Like, I kind of like it. Um, like Knights Tribal and Commander or something. I don't know. Uh, Yorion, I mean, we all know what it does. When it comes in, it blinks everything except for lands. It's banned. I like it being banned. All right. Uh, now we got Null Spine Invocation. I'm getting some pretty weird cards. Null Spine and Yawn T. Yawn T. Okay. From Shadowmoor. I've got a lot of Shadowmoor cards lately. Two red and one uh, enchantment. Uh, X. Discard a card with mana bill X. Nana. <laughs> Null Spine Invocation deals X damage to any target. And that card is like not great. Like it, it, I've seen worse. Yon T. Malison. Creature Snake Rogue from Adventures in the Forgotten Realms. A 2 1 for 1 to blue. Yong T. Malison can't be blocked as long as it's attacking alone. Okay. Whenever Yong T. Malison deals combat damage to a player, venture into the dungeon. Okay. I mean, not great. And all right. Next one, we got a Chandra the Firebrand and a Zorn. So this one's from M13, Chandra the Firebrand, three and a red. Um, starting loyalty three plus one. Chandra to the firebrand deals one damage to any target. That is not aged well. Minus two. When you cast your next instant or sorcery spell this turn, copy that spell. You may choose new targets for the copy. That's not bad. That's pretty decent. Uh, minus six. Char Chandra to the firebrand deals six damage to each of six targets. That's pretty good, honestly. I like that. I mean, the plus one is. That's not age well. It's a gut shot. Uh, okay, Zorn. Creature elemental, two and a red from Adventures in the Forgotten Realms. 3-2. If you would create one or more treasure tokens and cre create a, those tokens plus an additional treasure token. Wow, that's... With Ragavan, you get two treasures. So, look out for that. That's the Aspiring Spike Ragavan combo right there. All right, last one. Can I get some more than five points? 15. All right, and we got a Chandra Lalar. I got another Chandra. Um, so I'm happy to get the 15 points. Three and double red from Lauren. I don't remember Chandra being in Lauren. Uh, starting loyalty six plus one. Chandra and Lauren deals one damage target player planeswalkers. What the hell? That's all. <laughs> That's like the same effect almost as the last one, except this one's even more specific. As we play our planeswalker, that's worse. That's actually worse. Uh, minus X. Chandra deals no Chandra and Lauren deals X damage to target creature. Uh, I mean, it can do immediately six, so probably back then that was pretty impressive. It's still not terrible. Uh, minus eight, Chandra Lar deals 10 damage target player or planeswalker, and each creature that player or that planeswalker's controller controls. I mean, I guess. I don't I don't know. Like, I, I'm not a big fan of this planeswalker either. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for me today. I uh, hope you guys had fun. Uh, good old uh, red... Uh, how do you keep saying Black green... Uh, put in some work today. Went four one. Played against not the greatest deck. Played against a, a hive mind deck, uh, Orzov ring deck, uh, Demur Mill, which is a real deck. Lost to Tron, which what ex what can you expect there? Plus the way how that guy who's top decking and opening hands is insane. And then defeated Living End, which was a nice victory there. Um, that I think the Living End match has become just a lot easier for. Golgari and Jund, just because of endurance alone. Um, and there's just so much graveyard hate as time continues to pass. Um, shout outs to Questing Beast. Although I lost the game, I won the match. Um, but shout outs to Questing Beast because its ability that says combat damage the your creatures. It says combat damage that would be dealt by creature you control cannot be prevented which was excellent against the one ring. It was not to kill. They lived by two, which they still came back and won outrageously, okay? Um, but I'm, you know, a lot of people thought Questing Beast might be a decent answer to one ring. 
and I think it is. You know, it, you know, they they play it, they draw a card, and um, you know, you swing in with questing beast, and damage can be prevented. It's pretty awesome. Um, Tyler's tracker got in there too. Uh, Tyler's tracker did well against a Mermill. Uh, basically, every card in this deck did something today. Um, Dark Confidant was performing well. Charmagoyf, of course, is Goyf. Uh, Witherbloom Command didn't do anything, but you know it's Witherbloom Command. Maelstrom Pulse was working. Killed two Amulet of Vigors. Um, Murderous Rider, I don't think I ever used, but I was ready at one point. Liliana the Veil put in serious work like normal. Thoughtseize Inquisition, Fable Push. You don't need to say anything about those. They're always good. And even Lair the Hydra managed to win the game against uh, Demur Mill uh, with their Ensnaring Bridge. So I do like this deck quite a bit. It is very consistent. My camera is not focusing. It still doesn't look like it's focused whatever um i do like this i mean i think this is a very good solid list orcish bow masters my god what a card like that card is insane it's almost insane as the one ring it just doesn't draw you cards like the one ring does and you get protection for everything for a whole damn turn um but that card's insane this is the first time i've ever played it i've, I've played 10 matches now with it and it didn't do much in the first league, but this second league today, uh, it was insane. Like, it put in a ton of work. I really enjoyed it. Um, you know, Shaldred as well tried to put in work, but just people were ready for it. Shaldred is just not that good in Modern. I think Questing Beast is better than Shaldred in Modern, which is incredible to say because nobody plays Questing Beast in Pioneer, but maybe they should. Um, and Shaldred's just like the house in Pioneer almost. Um, you know, the sideboard looked good. Nothing really to, negative to say about the sideboard. Uh, Necromentia saw a lot of play today. I think Necromentia is a lot better than people give it credit for. I do enjoy playing it. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think the weakest card is Witherbloom Command, but I'm not really sure what you take out. You know, you want more value, and that does give you value. You get two for the price of one, but all its effects are pretty meh, if not bad. Um, you know, it, it has its place in purpose here and there yeah, i don't plan on replacing it just because like i said when we get to put more abrupt decays and assassin's trophies in i don't think so um i guess i could put scavenging ooze in but i don't really want to do that either so anyways guys that's gonna do it for me i uh, had a lot of fun today had a good time hope you had a good time too i will not be here tomorrow but i will be back on monday i hope if long as work and life does not get in the way remember work and life always comes before magic the gathering um, and if I do come back on Monday, you guys will be treated to Rakdos, Midrange, and Pioneer. Um, I am back on the RCQ grind. The RCQ has come back to Major Riot. And uh, I plan on playing quite a few RCQs in the next couple, couple weeks. And then I have a 20k I have to go to. That is modern. So you guys can look forward to me playing probably Rakdos, Scam, or Ponza for training for that, that week. Um, so again, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Let's do some shout-outs, of course. Uh, shout-outs to Seeknayer95, Gauge. The Luke Man 98, the MTG bot, and the Night bot, and also special shout outs to Pogo Tito and Detective Scott Gunsey for the follows. Really appreciate that. So, if you didn't watch this live on Twitch, please are following. Watch this on YouTube, please are subscribing. Give this video a thumbs up. And you can also follow me on Twitter for whatever that's worth. I uh, hope that you guys will come back on Monday, 4 p.m. Pacific time for Rakdos, Midrange, and Pioneer. It's been quite a while since I played, literally about six, seven weeks. Uh, doesn't look like things have really changed too much over there. Just kind of flavor of the week. Decks pop up. Decks go back down. Um, but Rakdos mid-range is always the cornerstone of that format, I think. So I'm looking forward to playing that and uh, getting reacquainted with Pioneer. Uh, last time I played Pioneer in RCQ, I managed to top 8 it. So hopefully things continue to go well for me in Pioneer. So, all right, guys. That's enough rambling. Like I said already, I want to be safe out there. Eat some good food, drink some good beverages, and spend time with your loved ones. That's the most important thing you can, thing you can do. And I hope to see you all here very soon. All right, everybody, peace!